Some 4,000 years ago, Bahrain was known as a sacred island paradise called Dilmun, a place closely resembling the Garden of Eden, where death and sickness did not exist and sweet waters flowed. Since those days, people have been traveling to this much-loved island, settling and calling it home. The lucrative east-west trade routes and the pearling business attracted people to this land of plenty before the discovery of oil. In the early days of oil exploration, the small number of oil pioneers on the island lived in Manama and travelled to Jebel Adukhan to work. With the arrival of the corrugated steel Nissan huts shipped from the UK, Jebel Camp became residential as well as operational. In 1925, during the reign of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa granted an exclusive oil exploration license called the Bahrain Island Concession to a consortium of British businessmen. In 1929, the Bahrain Petroleum Company was formed in Canada. The first residential settlements at the Jebel were close to the discovery of oil in well number one in 1932. But that area soon became too small for the developing oil industry and they sought a newer, better, permanent location. The new site where construction was started in 1934 was known affectionately as Mugebrat, which means little sandstorms. In 1935, work started on the construction of the refinery. The first unit was completed in 1936, having a capacity of 10,000 barrels per day. In 1937, His Highness Sheikh Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa proudly opened the new Bahrain refinery. The first extension to Awali occurred in 1936 with the construction of 30 100 series timber framed American bungalow type houses with air conditioning. This marked the start of the first air conditioned town in the Middle East, possibly the world using circulating chilled water. The area was officially named Awali by the ruler, His Highness Sheikh Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa in 1938. Awali is an Arabic word meaning on the hill or high place. Awali was a unique town populated in the main by expats from around the world whose skills were needed for the setting up and running of the new refinery. All the manual skills were represented in Awali as were doctors, dentists, nurses, secretaries, accountants, engineers and school teachers. All were there to train and eventually hand over to the Bahraini workforce. To live and work happily, thousands of miles away from their friends and family, they needed a community. They needed a safe and secure environment, which provided all the requirements of daily living and recreation. Babco created the completely self-contained township called Awali. Many expatriates were born in Awali, lived most of their lives in Awali, marrying there, raising children there, and growing old there. Company facilities and support were literally provided from cradle to grave. Awali was a magical place to spend one's formative years in, 
and many treasured early memories were formed there, such as trips to Manama on the shopping bus over the Wrigley Bridge, past the Dobi in the freshwater stream. The Awali to Manama Road was the only road between the two places and was just wide enough for one car in each direction. Many of the Awali expats shopped in the Manama Souk and in shops such as Jashan Mal's, Novelty Stores, Moon Stores, Lucky Stores, Basteki and Ashraf's, many of which are still going strong today. In 1954, there were almost 1,200 Western employees, 500 families and 200 contractors living in Awali. The evolution in Bahrain's industry meant introducing Western technicians with their different attitudes and outlooks. A flourishing petroleum industry amidst an ancient and dignified Islamic setting was created. BAPCO showed, during the course of its development, that not only can East and West meet, but they can be entirely compatible, and one can learn from the other. The generous patronage of the early rulers of the fledgling oil industry in the first part of the 20th century was extended during the times of His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The momentum continued during the reign of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa with the tenure of the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Oil, His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The iconic development of the prosperous Babka refinery and the township of Awali as a peaceful green oasis with manicured hedgerows in the middle of the desert would not have been possible without the close cooperation and working relationship over the past 90 years between the rulers of Bahrain, the Bahraini people and Babco's expatriates. <laughs>